I'm KP Khalsa. I'm the lead instructor and curriculum director for the Nutritional Therapy Program at Portland Community College. I've been in this field for 40 years. I'm a dietitian, a nutritionist, and an herbalist. I'm currently serving as the president of the American Herbalist Guild. I've been involved in a wide variety of natural healing kinds of practices, uh, and I have several other credentials in the field for that entire 40 years. So I deal with a lot of different kinds of, of areas in uh, natural healing that uh, allow me to bring that expertise to, to create a program that will be uh, very broad in its scope, very uh, holistic, and give people the nutritional part that will help them plug into that wider world of natural healing. This term we have a weekend on pathophysiology. In this course, we talk about the actual diseases that we're going to be treating, uh, diseases of the respiratory tract, diseases of the liver, diseases of the skin, the kinds of things people actually experience. So we'll take system by system, break down the kinds of diseases that people have, determine how those diseases develop, what the nutritional roots of those diseases are, uh, the lab test that would determine that, and just take it disease by disease, system by system, so that people have a very clear understanding of what's going on, the symptoms, the signs, the lab tests, everything involved in that disease from a disease perspective, and that will give people the basis to be able to then begin making dietary and nutritional supplement uh, changes to help bring, bring people back to health. Another weekend this term is Ayurveda, which is the ancient holistic healing system of India, the health sister science of yoga. We'll spend the entire weekend discussing the approach to health uh, of Ayurveda. Uh, Ayurveda is largely a dietary and herbal medicine system, although it includes many other different aspects of lifestyle. So we'll talk about the Ayurvedic worldview, Ayurvedic uh, understanding of assessing what's going on with people, the vocabulary of Ayurveda, and then discuss a number of food therapies, uh, dietary kinds of manipulations, and especially herbal medicine from India. Ayurveda has become very popular in the last uh, 10 years in the United States, is growing dramatically, and we'd like to weave in those ideas to the nutritional education that we're giving people so that they can understand when their clients come and they have, they're using Ayurvedic herbs or relating to Ayurvedic concepts, that they'll be able to understand the vocabulary and the uh, therapy orientation, but also Ayurveda uh, brings some very um, unusual and dramatic kinds of therapies to natural healing that will help us uh, fill in that picture. This term we also have food therapy. Uh, in this case, it's food therapy two, or an extension of the food therapy program that we did in a previous uh, term. So food therapy is going to include everything about using food uh, more aggressively to treat specific kinds of diseases, to actually apply food as therapy. What do you do for a particular kind of uh, concern? What do you do for migraines? What do you do for sinus infections? How do you use food as actual therapy? Thinking about food more as medicine than just about something to fill your nutritional requirements or make you be not hungry, but how do you get even more healthy using food and then treating specific kinds of conditions with actual food as remedies? An area that's not well explored in uh, typical American culture, but used around the world in every other natural healing system, works very, very well, and will uh, cover the remainder of those ideas in this term to allow people to develop a very fine-tuned set of tools in terms of food therapy that they can bring to people's lives. The entire course is designed for people to enroll at any given term. You don't have to wait for any particular time. You don't have to start the beginning of the academic year in fall. We'll be recruiting a new group of students. They'll be joining us each term. Some students will be leaving. Some students will be joining. It's a modular format where people rotate in and out of the out of the courses and the idea is to get four quarters in some order however that works for your schedule so just for the sake of convenience some of these courses are numbered one or two they're not intended to be sequential you could take food therapy two first and have no you'd never notice the difference these all of these weekends are standalone units because we will have people coming in just for that particular uh, unit and uh, we'll make sure that, that everybody is uh, staying on track with us and that the concepts will be uh, understandable by people. 
typically in these courses, uh, people will hear the same concept mentioned at least a couple of times over the course of the year. Uh, very often we'll discuss a particular concept, a particular remedy, a way of doing things in the uh, therapeutic section where we're talking about a way to treat a particular disease and we'll revisit that idea in another section where we're talking about using the actual remedies. So we'll study broccoli as a remedy in one course and we'll discuss using broccoli to support the immune system in another course. So people find that this uh, modular program really is very doable. You dive in with both feet, but very quickly you're oriented. You have the rest of the students in study group to help you, and uh, it's not a concern to have taken any given class at any particular time. Before a student enrolls in this class, it's a great idea for them to have some familiarity with natural healing concepts, some sort of an affinity for natural healing in some way, or even just a great interest in the topic. We do offer a course called Biochemical Foundations that each student has the opportunity to take if they do need some backup in that kind of area. People are going to have to take some anatomy and physiology. Many people who are going to take this class will already have taken anatomy and physiology, which is pretty straightforward and offered at a number of different places. So that can be taken anytime during the course of the class or uh, in advance. Otherwise, it's just show up and go to work. The classes during the weekend day will be very interactive. People, it'll be the same group of people uh, with some people rotating in and out, but we'll have a core group of people. We'll know them very well by the end of that year. They'll know each other. They'll know their own needs, their own experiences. They'll be doing case studies. So people find that opportunity to really interact and develop their knowledge on a practical level to be very enjoyable compared to the usual just sort of lectures and taking exams. Well, the things that people enjoy about this class often actually turn out to be the most challenging. This is a class that require people to, requires people to keep up with their reading, to stay attuned to their uh, class requirements, to our uh, lectures, to our uh, class discussions, and really be ready to participate in class. The great thing about this kind of structure, where you have a weekend and then a month on your own, is that it's so flexible for you to be able to be uh, to do your work as you need to do that. So people who are used to more traditional educational uh, opportunities where they're sitting in a class three days a week with a lecture and they take an exam every other, every other Friday may find themselves uh, challenged by the need to really stay focused on their material and make it through the material. This is a college level course. It's a, a career preparation course. People will ex be expected to perform to a high standard that will give them a credential that they can go out and then actually use in the real world. So they do have to keep up. That said, it's not onerous. People will be able to do it. We've been doing these kinds of things for a long time. We know the kinds of things that will help people through. And people will find that they'll get together in study groups, they'll connect with each other, and they'll really make nutritional therapy a part of their life. The class is oriented toward nutritional therapists who will be establishing their own practices in some way and acting as consultants, but that may be uh, quite variable, not necessarily putting on a shingle and opening up their own office. They may work in group practices, they may work in a hospital setting, uh, they may uh, consult uh, on their own, uh, but just in the practice management uh, area, tremendous opportunity. But that's one tiny slice for nutritional therapy. People could work in the dietary industry uh, with food. They could be. They could work with import export. They could work in quality control. They could be uh, working in nutritional education, writing materials, promotional materials. They could be doing public um, education. They could work in the dietary supplement industry and and apply all those kinds of ideas uh, to that. We do hear from the industry that there is a need for people with this kind of education who actually work with boots on the ground, real work in the real office. They may work in a warehouse, they may sit behind a computer all day, but they're designing products, they're designing packaging, they're using their expertise to meet this new needs of the 21st century. PCC is really a very top-notch school, very well organized. Uh, the CLIMB program is centered around healthcare uh, professions. They've been doing it for a long time. They're very good at what they do. PCC is a school with very good resources. You're going to find the, the kinds of technological resources that we need uh, in the classroom to really create uh, up-to-the-minute learning experience for people. And all of that for a tuition that's uh, substantially more affordable than many other opportunities. Plus you get this education 
in a package that's suitable for adult learners. So convenient schedule, uh, maximum exposure to cutting edge kinds of ideas for a very reasonable uh, tuition, it's a great package. The nutritional therapy program at PCC is designed to create certified practitioners. The certificate that we issue is at the end of the uh, four academic terms of material. We've worked out the whole thing so that there's a very nicely defined career path. You go through your 12 uh, weekends over the course of a year. Uh, you do your, uh, your classroom work. Uh, you take the certification exam from the professional organization and you're ready to go.